Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share the message that I read from Facebook given to Moses P. three days ago and the confirmations and a short teaching based on the message. The title of the message is Get Ready, All Has Been Decided, The First, Second and Third Seals Open, Beginning When Death and Resurrection Happen, It's Time to Begin. The time will be begin. Share what you see and hear this evening. The time begins when death and resurrection happen. Tell my people to be prepared for the time and always keep watching. There will be a great shaking globally to the nations. The old serpent devil and an army of fallen angels will be thrown from heaven because they have no place for them in my kingdom. There will be a great shaking everywhere. Know when that happens, they are already on this earth. Keep watching for the time is already come and there will be no more delays. If you hear the shaking happen, or you are there, don't be afraid. I have sent the angel Michael and an army of angels to come down first and camp in the middle of my people in the nations to keep and protect my people until the time has been determined and complete, completed. Scripture given is from Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Let us read, brothers and sisters. At that time, Michael, the great prince who protects your people, will arise. There will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. But at that time your people, everyone whose name is found written in the book, will be delivered. Back to the message. Don't be afraid, I will be with you until the end of this age is past. Maranatha, Jesus bless you. And here is the second message received on the same day. The title is, The Twelve Stars That Have Been Born Will Be Divinely Connected, Revelation 12. At the time that happened, a great shaking, stars of God in the nations will be directly connected divinely, spiritually, and getting started to begin big movement before the old serpent and fallen angels realized they have been thrown onto this earth and seek and fight the twelve stars who have been born. These twelve stars are the twelve tribes of Israel, which have been gathered from all around the earth, total 144,000. As I write this, God's anointing make, makes me cry. What I said last night com complements what I s I'm saying now. Pray and always be on guard. Jesus bless you. That's all the message, brothers and sisters. Please take it to the Lord in prayers. Brothers and sisters in Christ, after I read these messages from Moses P, I asked God for confirmation about the time we are in now, about how close we are to the end, and God gave me confirmations. In the evening on the same day, I was feeding the hamsters. I didn't think anything about the confirmation that I asked or about the end times. There was my mother and my sister-in-law, holding her little baby while the toddler songs played on TV automatically. My sister-in-law usually sings the toddler song that was played on TV for her baby. At that time, I didn't pay attention at all to what songs were played on TV. I was focusing on the hamsters. But suddenly, I heard my sister-in-law say the word finish line while she was singing. These words caught my attention, and then I look on television screen to see more detail what song was played on TV at that time. I saw the view on TV of a tortoise running slowly but surely, and almost reaching the finish line. And then after he passed the finish line, he got a reward, because he became the winner of a race. The title of the song is The Tortoise and the Hare. This song is quite famous. Maybe many of us have known this song. The story of this song is about a race between a tortoise and a hare. I also heard this song played on TV accidentally during evening prayer the next day and a day after. So I feel I should share this message. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I feel there are some messages from God in this song. The first is the answer of my prayer. I look at TV screen when the tortoise almost reached the finish line, so I feel it represents the time we are living now. We are so close to the finish line or the coming of Jesus. And the second message is that when we are almost near the finish line, don't fall asleep like the hare represents the foolish virgins. 
Even though he is fast and confident that he will win, and because of his confidence, he falls asleep. The foolish virgins listen to the false teachings that make them so confident that they all will be raptured or go to heaven. And because of their confidence, they don't do anything to prepare themselves to be the bride. They fall asleep in sins and in pleasure of this world, and finally found themselves being left behind when rapture takes place. Finally, the slow and steady tortoise wins the race. It is interesting. The tortoise is slow or has little strength, but he is steady and endures till the end. The tortoise represents the bride or the church of Philadelphia that will go in rapture and will get reward from God or being kept from the great tribulation. That's all I like to share, brothers and sisters. I hope this message can encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, I can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.